did the mafia or has the mafia made any businesses better in the sense that I have an agent, you have an agent, mm-hmm. you know, they take 10% yep. or whatever, but you go, I'll give you your cut. You wet your beak because you got me a better job right. or a better deal. Did, in your recollection, has the mafia made any businesses better, innovated? Well, absolutely. I mean, we made Vegas. We built half the country by bringing in people and running unions and stuff like that. But politicians are what destroyed it. Politicians turned around with the unions and for different, for donations to politicians. It's not money under the table. It's an actual donation. They made laws that were horrible for the people. I'll give you an example. They had the car business. So they passed a law that everybody who works 15, 18 years gets a retirement thing. And that was good. It was passed and it went through. The only thing is that people who went to work there at 23 years old, they were retiring at 43. And we're paying them forever. Right. Now, if you look at the statistics, most of the cars, about a third of the car, is paid into people who don't even work there no more. Right. So if a $30,000 car, if you could find one for $30,000, 10000 is going to people who are not even working there, and the 20000 is for the car, the material, and people who are working there. So we're paying a fortune. Yeah. I, I, I always have this thought. If you ever know someone, I have a cousin who's like married to a fireman, and then you see him at Thanksgiving, you know, and you go like, what uh, What are you doing? And there's, the guy's like 47. He's like, I'm thinking of retiring next year because yes. I can get full benefits for the rest of my life. And I'm like, I've never even, I've never even danced for half a step with the notion of retiring. It's like, I got to get out and earn every single day. Mm-hmm. This guy's 10 years younger than me, and he's talking about full benefits and full pay. For the, and and by the way, doing another job. Yeah, of course. Like, like I'm just going to get into construction. Right. You know, yes, it. there is a, a thing that we think, like, what's wrong with taking care? Like, we do this all the time. We go, like, don't these people deserve to be taken care of? Look around. Go, look in this building. Who amongst us is guaranteed to be taken care of for the rest of our lives? It's kind of up to us. Yeah. Like, if you'd like to sock some money away or make some investments, good on you. But I don't. I, I always. It's funny. You go like the cop, the fireman, the school mm-hmm. teacher. You go, yeah, yeah. You need to be taken care of. But it, then I look around. I see the guy working at Trader Joe's, and the person, single mom doing yeah. comedy. It's like, where's your pension where's your no, right, who's taking care of you i think it's good that they get a retirement but not full pay is uh, um get a retirement pay 40 percent, 30 percent, or something but see they 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 pass these laws no where, well, listen i i talked to a guy who sold private airplanes aircraft oh once he was an he was our Uber driver. <laughs> so wait, he, now he's an Uber driver, and he used to sell private airline like airplanes. Well, there's two kinds of Uber drivers. There is the desperate person right. who cannot, who's unemployable, right. who you get eighty six percent of the right. time. Yes. Then once in a while, you get the seventy seven year old retired yes, guy okay, who just wants who's made to do. his nut. He right. just gets up at four thirty every yeah. morning, and he's bored. He loves driving people to the airport. He likes talking to people. <laughs> yeah. And he said to us, "I think." Uh, Half the cost of of every private, you know, if you want to buy a Lear jet for twenty five million dollars, half of it is insurance shit. Oh my like God. It, half of it is right. litigation. You could imagine mm-hmm. all the cases and all the litigations oh, yeah. and all the whatever. It's like you are paying. It's getting all tacked on to the price of this car or the price of the plane. Like, right. it's all lawyers, insurance, government. Blah, blah, blah. Everything gets piled on. 